Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praise, glory, honor, and joy unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Raham Kadash, the honor to the apostles, elders, and prophets uh, who uh, risked their lives and freedom to do so by spreading the truth throughout the four corners of the globe. And to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four corners of the globe, and to the confusion of faith which join up to our ranks, and to the Akim and Aqua that are listening and learning, to you I say Shalom. You know, the title of the lesson is, is there any, you know, any uh, unjust in your house by Shem house shot? But, you know, for those in the truth, we already know what that answer is. But, you know, you got people that are, you know, you got a lot of our people that are not in the truth. And, you know, they they believe that, you know, that when they, once they hear this truth, they believe that, you know, uh, uh, Yahweh Bashim Shah is unjust in his judgment. And the reason why is that because they are in this Christian mentality that they believe that, uh, you know, everybody can be saved. You know, if, you know, nobody the corner, you know, they believe in this hell doctrine, which we know it don't exist. And, you know, uh, they, they believe that, uh, you know, all you got to do is confess uh, Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and, and you're going to be saved. You know, they don't read uh, of the Romans 10, 1 and 2, what to get the, uh, the context of it. And you you hear a lot of, you know, babblings about, you know, the most high being unfair is because of the way that he has things wrote out in the scriptures. And, you know... And you got the, you know, you got people think, believe that Yahweh is unjust because he, he's not going to save everybody. Which, you know, the brother, brother says, gone into these scriptures many and many and many of times. But it's just like when you go into the scriptures, you show them, you know, they, you know, they get caught in this distance. I mean, that they, you know, they act like these, the scriptures don't exist or it don't apply to, you know, today's time and today's society. But, um, and the reason why this topic need to go forward is because to let you all know that Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is fair in his judgments. He is fair to everything that he does because he's the one that wrote the script. You know, just like, like, uh, just like in the movie, you know, the one who's, you know, uh, write the script, basically is the one that, you know, in charge of the movie. You know, you got the director stuff, but you got the one that write the script, you know, and, direct, and basically direct how the movie is going to go. And that's the same way we have by Shimmy Hao Shah. You know, he's the one that write, he's the one that wrote out the script, man. He's the one that knows, the, he, he the one that declares the uh, ending from the beginning. <clears throat> so he, so you have by Shimmy Hao Shah knows what he's doing. And, you know, he, he knows exactly how he wants this movie to play out. He wants this movie of life to play out. So if anybody, you know, come at you and trying to believe that, you know, your house child is unfair, you know, they don't understand the scriptures. You know, they don't understand the power of your house by Shimmy house shot. And, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and, and read a quick scripture, you know, that what, uh, what Paul says. And we all know the scripture, you know, for those who are in this truth. You know, we we, we recite the scripture, you know, thousands upon thousands of times. And, and it's, a, it's a famous scripture. You know, I'm going to start at the book of uh, Romans, you know, ch chapter 9. And, and we're going to go ahead and start at, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start at, uh, I'm going to start at verse uh, 7. It reads, Not because they are the seed of Abraham, that are they all children, but it is that thy seed shall be called. So that, so that, uh, that knocks out the fact that matter everybody can be saved because there's only one seed line that can be saved. But you're going to have some people come on, you know, going to talk about that, that being unjust. You know, verse 8. That is, they which are called the children of the flesh, these are not the children of Yahweh. Hence, but the children of the promise are the counted for the seed. For this is the word of, of promise.
was at that time where I come and Sarah should have a son. You know, you can read that in the book of Genesis. The angels came unto uh, Abraham and let and, and let let him know that you know Sarah was gonna have a son and the son gonna be called Isaac. Uh, you know, you can read that in the book of Genesis. And not only this, but when Rebecca also had conceived by one, even our father Isaac. For the children not yet being born, neither had done good or evil, that the purpose of Yahweh, according to election, might stand. Not a worse, but him that calleth. You know, that, that knocks out, you know, us having free will, because everything is predestined by Yahweh, by the Shem Yahweh Shah. You know, just, just, it's just like being in this truth, you know. Yeah, how about Shimmy how Shah had already predestined who's going to be in the truth and who's not. You know, you, you probably went this to your family members and they said that, uh, you know, I come to keep witness to them. Why they, why they haven't got it? It's out of one or two things. Uh, yeah, how about Shimmy how Shah don't want them to get it? Uh, you know, if he does allow them to get it, he probably allow them to get it at their very last hour. Because you got to understand that a lot of our people are going to wake up at the last minute and, and gonna denounce, you know, this world and gonna turn back to Yahweh by Shimmy How Shah. You know, so that knocks our free will. So uh, we don't have free will to do what we wanna do and we don't have free will to choose Yahweh by Shimmy How Shah. You know, he chooses us, not the other way around. Verse 12, it said, It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. Verse 13, as it's written, Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. You know, that's plain. We, we go in that scripture, go into that a lot. You know, this this is the point right here, verse 14 and 15. But I'm going to start at four, uh, verse 14. It said, what shall we say then? Is there a righteousness with Yahweh? Yahweh forbid. And, you know, verse 15, he said, for he said unto Moses, I will have mercy whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not him that willeth, nor him that runneth, but uh, Yahweh that shows that showeth mercy. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, Even for this same purpose I have raised thee up, that I may show my power in thee, that that in, that my name I might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore, hath he had mercy on whom he will have mercy, and will harden on, uh, and, and like, and whom he will harden, and, and whom he will he harden it. Verse nineteen. Yeah, yeah, it said, "Thou wast said unto me, Why does he yet find fault, or uh, who have resisted his will?" And verse twenty it said, "Neighbor, old man, who?" Who art thou that thou replies against Yahweh? Should the thing form, form say unto him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Right, you know, that goes into talking, you know, talk about, you know, asking a question is most, is Yahweh by Shem how shall unfair in their judgment? The, the answer to your question is no, because Yahweh by Shem how shall, you know, is the one that wrote the script. You know, he, he won't wrote the script, he won't wrote about your life on. Uh, uh, whether he gonna allow you to receive the truth or not, or uh, whether he gonna accept you as part of hopefully one hundred four four thousand one third or not, you know you you know you and I we don't have no say so in our life, you know we don't have no say on on how things are gonna go. But you how about Shimmy how Shah does? He already has our life already planned out. You know he knows that uh whether you gonna receive the truth or you not. But you know, if you're not in the truth, man, you you you're gonna listen. You'll read the scripture. You're gonna believe that Yahweh Hashem Hashah is unfair, because you know he he you know he does he does not does do, do things the way that you want to do. So so then you turn around, you look at uh, Yahweh Hashem Hashah being unfair. But the scripture said he will show mercy who will show mercy, he, and he will harden who he gonna harden. But you know who who are, you know who are we to uh, judge what uh, uh, you how about Shem how Shah is gonna do? You know, you know who who he's gonna you know say so who are we to argue? Who are we to think that we know more than you how about Shem how Shah? To be quite honest, you know we don't know anything. You know, cause like I 
Bible scripture said, you know, he knows the end and from the beginning. So how who are we to tell him on um, you know what you know how things are gonna be ran? That's why you got you got had the rapper, you know, brother talk about, you know, you questioning God, you know, questioning how about Shimmy how was shot. And, and you know, then you turn around and say it's the work of the devils. Okay, but you know if this, this is the work of, of the enemy of the of Satan. Then why why are you questioning how about Shimmy how was shot? You say you saying he being unfair because he took you know some of your favorite people. No, they got judged because they being wicked, man. You know that that shows your lack of understanding towards how about Shimmy how was shot. You know that shows that you know you're angry because he took. Kept the people we wanted to keep here. He took your faith people that you wanted to stay here. But like I said before, you know, we're not in the we're not in the stead of uh of uh, thinking that we know more than Yahweh Shimmy Hawsha. You know, even even Yahweh Shimmy Hawsha, even Yahweh had uh he rebuked the Joe. He he asked Joe, okay, yeah, he he asked Joe all types of hard questions, okay. You know, if you could, uh, you know, I'm paraphrasing per se, if, you know, who who can make the Leviathan to do this and do that? You know, he asked all, uh, 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 he asked Joe all types of questions. And, and, and at the end, Joe, Joe, Joe got rebuked, you know, he, he apologized. He said, you know, I have other things that I did not know, you know, that will be on my understanding. And see, that's what a lot of, you know, that's what a lot of our people do. You know, they other things beyond their understanding. And they don't understand the judgment of the most high. They they don't. And and, and they other things beyond understanding. You know, they question the most high like they 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 know what they know what to do. But guess what? You don't know what to do and, and you know and and the thing that most high does, you know, we we're not the question. You know, because everything the most high had everything done according to his purpose. You know, we got to trust and believe in Yahweh by Shimmy Hawsha and we got to get out get out the way. Because a lot of times we stand our own way because we think we know more than what Yahweh knows and, and we and technically we don't know anything. Because like scripture said, you know, who have you know how how the uh Clay gonna have power over the party and ask no question, uh, why you made me? And that's what that's what a lot of the mindset of our people are, you know, especially the other nation. You know why he made me? He made you. If you other nation he made you to uh, to serve serve Israel, you know you Esau. He made you. You know he made you for destruction. You know that it, it is what it is. And the question, you know, I have, you know, question that's been, you know, it's been asked is is the unjust. Uh, the unjust judgment and how about Shimmy how was shot? The answer to that is no, because guess what? He's just and he's fair, he's righteous in all things that he do. You know, whether you receive it, you receive it. Whether you, if, whether you reject, you know, that's on you. But at the end, you how about Shimmy how was shot just in all things that he does? You know, that's it for a lesson. I'll pray to the Most High. You how about Shimmy how was shot? By Shimmy Hakadash. Double honors to the apostles, elders, and prophets. Enough respect for the brothers that teach the truth all over the globe. Until next time, you're high willing. Shout out to and above the ball.